Hello, everybody. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, the um, feminist protest vote for women reenactment because it's over a hundred years since women were given the right to vote in parliament entry elections here in the United Kingdom. And you can see that they're dressed up in uh, Edwardian costume. I know it was George V when he became king. Women for vote, votes for women, use your vote, wearing the straw voters and all the rest of it. So the uh, flag of uh, the suffragettes was, as you can see, purple, white and green. And the purple denoted nobility, the white stood for purity and the green symbolized nature. And I'm at Hyde Park Corner because there is going to be a protest, 27,000 people to register to attend, marching from here down to the Emmeline Pankhurst statue at Westminster on Abingdon Street. Um, now, the legislation, um, Representation of the People Act, which allowed women to have the right to vote in parliamentary elections, was passed in April 1918, though memory may play me false. But here we are celebrating in June. Um, anyhow, what else? So various feminist organisations have turned up. And you can see the symbolism there. Oh, Sergeant of Truth of the Underground Railroad helped people escape from slavery. Millicent Fawcett up top, yeah, a 19th century feminist and intellectual. Emmeline Pankhurst, her daughter Sylvia Pankhurst. And who was the other one? The two Pankhurst daughters? Well, yeah. if we're going to talk about who's here, yeah. that's Emmeline Pankhurst, that's Millicent Fawcett, that's Sophia Dulip Singh, and that's Sojourner Truth. Uh, now, B -b -b I'm sorry, we gotta get okay, moving. I'll get out of the way. Sorry. Anyway, so Sylvia Pankhurst was the socialist daughter, and Christabel Pankhurst was the conservative daughter. All of them wanted votes for women, and they helpfully went by their names. So the one with S was a socialist, the one with C was a conservative. But uh, one of them, I think, is that Christabel actually later became a um, fascist. Um, and uh, that socialist one, Sylvia, she uh, had a child outside of wedlock, which was very disgraceful. I think her boyfriend was black as well, so she suffered racialism for that. Um, anyway, so that's that. Every soap-dodging, man-hating uh, extremist chop their bollocks off. Feminazi will be here. Perhaps I'm being a trifle unfair. Do everything like a girl, she's saying. Wearing hats, as they always would have. Anyway, we're at Speaker's Corner, and perhaps a few other of the usual suspects might be gathering here for these left-wing protests. I think they're maybe not protesting something as such, but it's more of a demonstration and commemoration.